now example 6 given ab parallel to cd uh, then cd parallel to uh, ef and we know ab will be definitely parallel to ef they are parallel to each other and you are given ea perpendicular to ab perpendicular means this is 90 so definitely this also will be 90 because they are parallel that we do now then vef equal to 55 degree you want to find x y and z uh, first we find z uh, here a b solution a b parallel to c f and c f parallel to e f implies a b parallel to e f this is the property first is parallel to second second is parallel to third that means first is parallel to third and which is the transversal uh, and a e is the transversal and a e is the transversal so we know parallel and transversal which implies uh, angle co-interior angles are uh, sorry a b a in the line Angle name only we find it difficult. B A E then plus uh, F E C equal to 180 degree. A reason co interior angles are supplementary. Sum of the co interior angle equal to 180 degree. So this angle uh, then you lost this one. Uh, this angle is at plus this 55 that is equal to 180 degree uh, so 90 plus z plus 55 equal to 180 degree therefore z equal to 180 minus here 95 then 145 so minus 145 so that is equal to 35 so we know one answer so z when they we have found then next one x and y uh, you consider y c e c d parallel to e f then the next part c d parallel to e f and which is the transversal uh, or you just uh, write it as uh, some e o is a transversal and e no need to write EO is the transversal. So we know co interior angles are uh, or you write Y plus 55 equal to 180 degree. You know it is, they are parallel lines then co interior angles are equal to uh, supplementary 180 degree. Therefore Y equal to 180 minus 55 so 125 degree which implies x also equal to 125 degree because these two angles are corresponding angles since um, a b parallel to c d corresponding angles axiom Corresponding angles axiom. This your turn. So now x over y over is it also over. Actually within a second you can find the answer. Writing all these steps only you find it difficult. When you just see the figure. Uh, here parallel. That means x and y are equal. Uh, here parallel line. That means these two angles are supplementary 180 degree. You subtract 180 minus 55. You get the answer. Uh, so that you are finding X. Uh, what uh, the answer is Y? X also the same one since they are parallel to each other. Over. Here 90. Definitely this also will be 90 because co interior angle. So 90 minus 55 this one. So just looking at the question paper itself. 
uh, immediately you can answer for some questions uh, which uh, you find it difficult only writing all these steps only you find it difficult thank you